because cancer punched me really good on September 17th um, when I was told I had it. Then cancer snuck up from behind and punched me in the back of the head on October 26th when it said possibly in my liver, possibly stage four. Um, but I'm still standing. It didn't knock me out. It didn't knock me down. So now I know what it can do. I know what cancer, it's nasty. It doesn't, it won't fight fair. So now I just want to fight it in a sense as dirty as I can with it. And I'm not going to give it what it wants. Deconstruct this love. Replace this time. A big thing that's been really kind of helping me, and this is, it's funny because cancer is a fight, and it's, it's a wild fight. The one thing I've been enjoying is old B movies, black exploitation movies, action movies, all like you know you got the your Shaft, your um, Fred Williamson, your Dolomite, you know you got your Norris, uh, fucking Bronson. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Pam Greer, um, Stallone. I mean, just Stallone. I mean, you watch Rocky IV, and that's the kind of training and determination that you want to have when you're fighting cancer. If you want really positive results, you've got to push your mind, your life, everything to that next level like an action movie. Because if you've ever watched, I mean, if you watch these old B movie black exploitation films, these battles are beautifully insane. Like everything they fight and go through is insane. Like it's perfect. It's beautiful. I mean, it's just amazing. You don't see many stories like that anymore, and that's the problem. You get these real. I mean, great. We get all the action we want, just things blown up in our face. We're not getting real people going through some real shit. And that's one thing that's really helped me through this because the more and more I look at it, I don't want to promote fighting or a fist fight, but like as a younger person, I've been, there's been fights or you've been punched or you've been punched by your friends It kind of test your limits, whatever. And it is like, I, it, cancer is such a bizarre, like a, like the fight, like, cause it's like that thing, like when we're in these moments of waiting for a result or you know, going to, man, I gotta go start, I gotta do chemo again. It gets your body like all nervous and it's like a fight so like once you go into that mindset of like you're scared you're nervous and if you've never been punched or you know if you've ever been in like, like a in grade school like a fight like maybe you're gonna fight so and so after school it's like all day you're a mess but the second you get punched once you know like what that punch feels like and you know you can take it it's kind of relieving like you can become this different thing like and then you realize what it is what you can stand up from it you're like okay I'm still standing that's a punch I understand what that feels like now and I think that's where if you can keep like with me I've had many things where you have to get up like football skateboarding just touring writing pitching all of it you get knocked down you get a lot of nose you're on the ground but like the physical we're skating, I remember that's like the best feeling, the individual like of getting knocked down and then lifting yourself back up. And I pictured that as a fight because like skating, you go through, you visualize landing that trick. Like a fight, a boxer or a UFC fighter, these guys, these fighters, they fully see the whole fight in their head before they fight. They see themselves winning. It's not like they don't sit there and train their asses off and work their butts off to lose. They're not gonna go, oh man, how do you get beat? How do you, and this is okay, punch me here, punch me there, that's how I'm gonna get beat, I'm gonna get beat. No, they work hard to stay on their feet and to win. That, with this cancer fight, is exactly the same thing. You have to train your mind and get all the information you can and like study your opponent, and your opponent is nasty. Cancer is a nasty asshole, like it is, and it, it's not like we're supposed to be here. So here, this foreign thing in our body. So you got to figure out how to beat this thing. 
And what for me is, I know exactly what it needs. I know what it wants. It wants me to give up. Um, and the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it anything it needs. The way so I've been every day, I plan out how I'm gonna beat cancer. I kind of go through beating it. I just see myself beating it. I see myself without cancer. And I go through that constantly on repeat with those kind of things, with other affirmations, other things I do. And it wants the bad thoughts, the negative thoughts. It wants a bad diet with sugar, full of sugar. I'm not gonna give it to it. I'm gonna watch it just choke and gasp for sugar and all, and just please be negative. Be sad, be scared, come on. No way, like it's just no way. Like, I mean this is just a B movie, action movie, me versus cancer, and it's nasty. You can think about any old B movie, just how the endings go down. They're insane between the good guy and the bad guy, the battles they have. And that's basically how I look at cancer, is just this clown, this asshole clown that's just going to lose. That's, he picked the wrong fight. And then with everything I'm doing right now, like I was saying, just keep all that positive, the things that give you the joy, it hates it. It hates it. And it makes me happier than a pig and turds that, when cancer's upset that I'm not giving it what it wants. And as always, deconstruct, rebuild, and do not give cancer the nails and the hammer to nail you to the ground. Keep fighting.